planning a transportation center, a transportation hub about 20 years ago and came up with the, the name Arctic. We get over 20 million visitors a year just to Anaheim, uh, 40 million to Orange County. We need a, a transportation hub that brings better transit to Orange County, better connections. The overall big idea for the building um, is this idea of a great, a great room uh, inspired by you know great rail stations of, of the past. The city really from the very beginning wanted to have an iconic building, one that would really celebrate rail transportation in Southern California. It's about 13.6 acres overall. It's about 120 feet in height. It's all cladded in a material called uh, ETFE, ethylene tetrafluoral ethylene. There's six skin systems together. So EC1 is the, the main curtain wall that we have right here, EC2, are the metal panels that go down the side of the building below the gutter at 36 feet. And then EC3 is the ETFE shell that goes all the way around. And we have some other storefront systems, EC4, EC5, and then uh, EC6, which is the little eyebrow that goes up around arch number one. Those enclosure systems are dictated by geopoint. There's over 15,000 geopoints that define the shape of the system. Each of the points has an X, Y, and Z axis that's extrapolated to uh, or interpreted down to the millionth of an inch. One of the things we had to do to meet our schedule is we had to order the ETFE pillows before the building was ever built. So the as-built conditions could not be used. So by the time we finished the steel, all the pillows were already here. Every one of those pillows would fit up there uh, without any major wrinkling problems, um, without any reproduction. There's three layers. Um, you can see where they're aired up. They got. They got little valves in them that release air, so they keep a constant five pounds per square foot of pressure in them. We got a tubing system that runs the whole way along here. And we have four fans downstairs in the mechanical room that keep this thing completely inflated to a certain degree. And it fluctuates based on the heat outside and how the air expands and contracts. But you can, you can see, and you can see the frit pattern inside. You can see out and you can see ideas of shapes and sizes, but at the same time, it keeps all the direct sunlight out but it keeps the natural light in. This bridge is standing on uh, CIDH piles, the cast-in drill hole piles. They're 10 foot diameter, 90 feet down. And uh, the two were done back over here for the actual bridge, but there's also four right next to the rail over here on either side, so underneath of the uh, elevator hoistway towers. So 12 feet away from active rail, drilling down 90 feet deep, right next to the trains going by. A steel for those two were actually placed on an embedded uh, steel anchor that's in the pile cap. A 20,000 pound uh, <laughs> big hunk of steel. What was it? What's your nickname? Under. What did we call it? The big, the big mofo. The big mofo. The big mofo. <laughs> <laughs> and that thing had to be placed exactly where it was supposed to be because there were, there were weld connections uh -huh. onto the, uh, the steel columns. So we were within an eighth inch, eighth inch tolerance vertically and within a quarter laterally. So we had to survey that thing to get it in place because once you set the 20 ton big mofo <laughs> in place with a crane, you're not moving it. Another pretty cool thing about the bridge is the, uh, the cluster columns. We're within a 16th of an inch of touching on some of them. There's so many anchor bolts and so much precision. They created one template with all the anchor bolts already in it, shipped it from Texas, and we had to set it with the crane on top of the pile cap. But that saved everybody a lot of time and a lot of headache. This is a very complicated job. It doesn't look it. If you look at the side of the building, you're like, oh, it's, it's just simply slow. But it's not. That's all a compound curvature. Every one of those panels are different size. I mean, it is, there is nothing simple about this simplistic job. Now, baby, don't care.